In this video, we're going to take a look at how to reduce the noise in your scene. So uh, let's start off with uh, 64 samples without doing anything. And once the render is done, we can see that there's a lot of uh, noise. So we're going to fix that by using two different methods. And the first method is to denoise the image. And there are uh, three different types of denoising. And I'm going to show you all of them. There's not really that much difference. It's just uh, some different scripts and some different types of artificial intelligence. So uh, this is with the first denoiser. And the other way is to uh, use a higher sample rate. Okay, so let's compare the results with different number of uh, samples and the different types of denoisers. And this is the first image with 64 samples and no denoising. And when we add a denoiser, you can see that the image looks a lot better. with Some basic denoising. And then with the optic X denoising, you can see that the result is basically the same as for the uh, two other types of uh, denoisers. Keep in mind that Optic X is uh, NVIDIA exclusive, so uh, you also have to take what kind of uh, specifications you have into consideration. And uh, this is the result of the open image denoise, which is a type of uh, AI denoiser. And then next, we can compare 64 samples with no denoising versus the result with uh, a thousand samples with no denoising. And as you can see, the noise disappears, but this is going to take a lot longer than just uh, adding some denoising to your render. So most of the time, I just recommend using uh, denoising and a lower number of samples. And then adding a denoiser to a high sample render doesn't really make much of a difference because most of the noise is already gone by using a high number of samples cleaning the image up. And the difference between the different denoisers is of course again not that great. And then next we can compare the result with 64 sample and the open image denoise versus the uh, thousand samples with no denoising which takes a uh, lot longer to render. And as you can see the difference is not that great. So uh, most of the time I would recommend using a uh, lower number of samples and then just add a denoiser on top. This of course depends on the scene, so uh, most of the time you just have to experiment and uh, see what works for you.